Parties. Parties can be a lot of fun. People get invited to parties. You can have a party because it is a special occasion, or just because you want to have a party. Sometimes people wear paper hats at parties. These are called party hats. Some people decorate with streamers and balloons. At some parties, there is a cake. Sometimes there are just snacks and drinks. At some parties, people play games. There are also parties where people just stand around and talk. People wear different things to parties. You can go to some parties in casual clothes. At other parties, you need to be dressed up in good clothes. There are other parties where you are supposed to wear a costume. There are many different kinds of parties. There are Christmas parties, birthday parties, going away parties, and parties for no reason at all. I have been to parties for people who are retiring, or for people who have just had a new baby. There are hundreds of reasons for having a party. At some parties, you take a gift. If it is a birthday party, then you take a gift and a birthday card to the person who is having the birthday. Sometimes people will ask you to bring food or drinks to the party. All parties are different. It is nice to be invited to parties. Grocery shopping. What do you see when you go to the grocery store? The aisles are filled with food. There are also refrigerators and freezers filled with food. There are sometimes things in bins in the middle of the aisles. There are different departments in the grocery store. There is the bakery. In the bakery, there are sweet things such as cakes, pies, cookies, and tarts. There are also things that you would eat with your dinner, like bread and buns. There are other things in the bakery department, like bagels and biscuits. The baker works in the bakery. There is the canned goods section. This is where you might find sauces and soups. Vegetables and fruits also come in cans. There is the section for dairy products. Here you would find milk and cream. The dairy section would also have cheese and butter. Yogurt is also found in the dairy section. In the meat department, there is beef and pork. Poultry is also found in the meat department. Poultry is chicken, duck, and goose. There are also cold cuts in the meat department. Cold cuts are the meats that are sliced up for sandwiches. Some examples of cold cuts are ham and bologna. The butcher works in the meat department. The produce department is full of fruits and vegetables. Clerks spray water on the fruits and vegetables to keep them fresh. There is a section in the grocery store for personal hygiene. This is where you would find shampoo and toothpaste. Soap and skin products would also be in this section. There is even a section for your pets. You can buy cat food and dog food. There are toys for cats and dogs. Differences. Are you tall or short? Are you big or small? People come in many different shapes and sizes. Some people wear size small clothes. Other people wear size medium clothes. There are people who wear large size clothes. Some people even wear extra large clothes. Some people are thin. Some people are fat. Some people are in between. There are people with short hair. Other people have long hair. Some people have no hair at all. No two people are exactly alike. Some people have long legs. I have short legs. I don't walk as fast as a person with long legs. I am not a tall person. In fact, I am quite short. My feet are a size seven. My mother has size five feet. My father has size twelve feet. We are all different sizes. It is not a bad thing. It is a good thing that we are all unique. The restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, you might see a sign that says "Please wait to be seated." A host or hostess will ask you how many people are in your party. Then they will want to know if you want to sit in the smoking or non-smoking section. The host or hostess will take you to your seat. 
You might sit at a table or at a booth. The host or hostess will give you a menu to look at. Sometimes there are different menus for different meals. There can be a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, and a dinner menu. Sometimes there is also a wine list and a dessert menu. The food and the prices of the food are listed on the menu. On your table, there will be cutlery. Cutlery is the knives, forks, and spoons. There will also be a napkin. You are supposed to put your napkin on your lap when you eat. Your waiter or waitress will take your order. You might want an appetizer before your meal. Some people want a salad or soup before their meal. After your meal, you might have a dessert or tea or coffee. When it is time to go, you will pay your bill and leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. Traffic. Traffic moves along on the streets and highways. There are rules that drivers must follow to make the traffic flow smoothly. You must wear a seatbelt. The seatbelt helps to keep you safe. You must stop at all stop signs. You must also stop at a red light. A green light means go, and a yellow light means to be careful. If you see a sign that says school crossing, you have to be careful because you are near a school and children might be crossing the street. Some places are crosswalks; those are places where people cross the street. People who are walking have the right of way. If you hear a siren behind you, you must pull over. An emergency vehicle, like a police car or an ambulance, might need to get somewhere fast. When a school bus puts on its flashing signals, you have to stop. You can't go past the school bus because children may be crossing the street from the bus. You should always obey the speed limit. It is not good to drive too fast. People should never drink and drive. Driving is a serious business. You have to obey all the rules to be a good driver. Music. If you were in an orchestra, what would you play? Would you play a tuba, a trumpet, or a saxophone? Perhaps you would prefer a stringed instrument like a violin or a cello. Maybe you would enjoy percussion more. You could play the kettle drum. There are instruments that have keyboards. A piano and an organ have keyboards. There are instruments that have strings on them. A guitar, banjo, and mandolin have strings on them. There are instruments that you blow into. A flute, a French horn, and a harmonica are all instruments that you blow into. There are instruments that you hit with a stick. A drum and a cymbal are two things that you would hit with a stick. If you are in an orchestra, you have to watch the conductor. He will lead you through the piece of music. You might just want to be in a band for fun. You could join a rock band or a dance band. Some people learn to read music. Music notes are written on a staff. Each note represents a sound. There are whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Each one of these is held for a different number of beats. It is good to learn about music. You have to learn your scales and learn about sharps and flats. If you want to learn how to play an instrument, it is best to take music lessons. Who, what, where, and why? These are important words. They are all words that begin questions. Who is about a person? Who is the girl with the blue dress on? Who stole my watch? Who will come with me to the game? Who is driving us to the party? What is about a thing? What is that big thing on the sidewalk? What should I do when I get to your house? What kind of clothes should I wear to the party? What shall I buy you for your birthday? Where is about a place? Where are you going for your vacation? Where did I leave my glasses? Where did my brother go? Where on earth is Timmins? Why is the word that asks for an explanation? Why did you take the last piece of pie? Why is the world round? Why should I give you any money? Why did the chicken cross the street? They say that you should answer all of these questions if you are writing a good story. You have to give the who, what, where, and why to write a good story.
Which direction? Which direction should I go in? Should I go up? If I go up, I will head toward the sky. I can go up the stairs. Should I go down? I can go down the stairs to the basement. I can climb down into a hole. Should I go left or right? I am right-handed, so I know which way right is. Should I go backwards? I would be going away from the things that I am facing now if I went backwards. If I went backwards from the thing that I am facing, I would go away from it. Should I go forward? I will just go straight ahead if I go forward. If I am facing something and I go forward, then I will go toward the thing that I am facing. Maybe I should go sideways, but which side? Left or right? It sounds very complicated. But it is not. Directions are very easy to follow if you just stop and think about them. The office. Some people work in an office. There are special tools that people in an office need to do their work. There is a computer in the office. There is a telephone. Most of the time, the secretary answers the telephone. The secretary sits at a desk. The secretary has pens and pencils on the desk. The secretary writes on a notepad. Some other things that you would find in an office would include the following: a stapler to staple pages together, a photocopier to copy pages, a pencil sharpener to sharpen pencils, a water cooler where the employees could get a drink of water, a hole punch to make holes in sheets of paper. And liquid paper, which is used to blank out errors on a page. Some offices have many employees in them. All of the employees have their own desks. Other offices just have one person at a desk. In some offices, there is a secretary or a receptionist, and then there is the boss in another room. There are often many important papers in an office. Important papers can be called documents. You might have to sign a document or fill out a form in an office. Some offices have bookshelves filled with books. The books are filled with information that the people in the office need. You will have to visit an office sometime. Maybe it will be a doctor's office or a lawyer's office. There are many different types of offices. Money. I keep my money in the bank. I have saved up my money. I saved all my pennies in a jar. A penny is only worth one cent. I have nickels. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth ten cents. A quarter is worth twenty-five cents. A quarter is a quarter of a dollar. Four quarters make up a dollar. A dollar is worth one hundred cents. I saved up all of my dollars. Our dollars used to be paper, but now they are coins. We call our dollars loonies. It's a funny name. We also have two-dollar coins. We call those toonies. We have five-dollar bills and ten-dollar bills. If you are lucky, you will have twenty-dollar bills, fifty-dollar bills, and even hundred-dollar bills. Our bills in Canada are different colors. That makes them easy to recognize if you go somewhere to spend them. It is wise to save your money. If you save enough, you could have hundreds or thousands of dollars.